Hello guys and welcome to a new video. For this one I'm working on a poster illustration for Wintercon. This is the fourth time that I've done their artwork since I've been doing it since they started. For those who are unaware of what Wintercon is, it's a small local convention on the south coast of England in Eastbourne. It's usually held in the Winter Gardens Theatre, but this time the Winter Gardens is shut, so it's going to be held in a big massive circus tent in Prince's Park, so that's going to be really cool. It'd be interested to see how that turns out. So, Wintercon is themed around fantasy, sci-fi, steampunk and horror. The first time that I did their poster design, I tried to include something from each element of those genres, so a dragon for fantasy, an android for sci-fi, then there was an airship for steampunk, and then I think I actually ran out of space for horror, and it was just suggested that I included some elements of horror references in the android's clothing and things like that. So because I put a dragon in the first one, it was suggested that then I put a dragon in all the posters that followed as a sort of running theme. I did record the process of the last two that I did, and you can see them further back on my channel. You can see in the previous two that I did kind of make the dragon the primary subject, but for this one I kind of wanted to branch out and include some other elements in the design. A lot of it was left up to me, there were just a few things that I needed to include. And you can see on the girl that's sitting on the dragon's back, she has a helmet on, and that's actually a reference to a TV show called Nightmare, which broadcast in the late 80s and early 90s, and it's basically a game show in a fantasy setting, and the helmet is an integral part of the show. So I needed to get that into the image somewhere, and also I needed to get an element of ice. I requested that there was ice on her shield, so that's what that is, but everything else in the picture was kind of left up to me. So I decided to have a bit of fun with a steampunk concept for this one, because it's been a little while since I drew something steampunky. As you know, I do have a project on the go called Breakwater, which is a steampunk fantasy story, so I do really enjoy drawing steampunk stuff. And since this is a Victorian seaside town, I always do like to try and tie in some element of steampunk, because we do have quite a lot of steampunk events going on here. There is a steampunk festival in September, and that's always really fun. There was an actual steampunk convention one year, but I don't think it's running anymore. But yeah, we do tend to have quite a lot of steampunk themed things going on here so I really wanted to tie that in and just generally I really like drawing steampunk designs. I wanted to kind of create an idea of inclusion with this poster to show that all these different people are flying down towards Wintercon together and they come from different backgrounds but they're all coming together in their enjoyment of the same genres and the same uh, comics and TV shows and movies and whatever else it is that they like. The background wasn't hugely important in this one because a lot of it is going to be covered up at the top and bottom with text, but I did want to kind of give an idea of what was going on in the background. So that's why you can see me referencing Google Maps because I did add in some of the coastline of Eastbourne with the pier in there. And I really liked adding the sunny effect, just kind of cr trying to create an overall really warm feeling for the picture. I used my cell shading style again in this one because I feel that it looks better on a larger format because obviously this is going to be printed very large, it is a poster design. Sometimes they print them in bus stops and things like that but I don't know if that's happening this year. But yeah, I, I tend to think on a very large scale it kind of gives a sharper image, but that's personal preference, it's just what I like to do, so I've been using the cell shading style quite a bit lately, so hopefully you like it, but I will be using my normal standard uh, like blended style more in my upcoming print designs and so on. Speaking of prints, I will be debuting several new designs at Wintercon. I'm hopefully going to be doing two conventions that month, but it's not 100% sure yet because bookings haven't opened for the second one, but I'm hoping to do Wintercon at the beginning of October and London MCM Comic Con at the end of October. I've never done two conventions in one month before, but I know loads of people do way more conventions than me, so i just got to make sure I'm organised and it'll be fine. So yeah, I'm going to be bringing in some new print designs because I'm retiring some old ones, so hopefully you will like them. There's going to be a cinnamon print, which I'm really excited about. Uh, hopefully going to have a print of Ikure, but I've got to sort out his redesign because I am changing his design because I don't like his colour scheme at the moment. So I will be bringing those new designs to Wintercon as well as my cinnamon stickers, so hopefully you guys will like all of it. I will let you know when I have table numbers because obviously I don't have any numbers for anything yet, but I will update all my social media when I do. So, as always, thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, do let me know if you're going to be at either of those conventions, because it'll be really nice to see some of you guys there, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!